if this is going from the original the same character and all, how old is Leatherface? He was Pretty goddamn walking, old. Walking around yeah. like 80 years old, killing people, yeah, lifting them up off the ground. Yeah, I mean, well, he's, he's balding. <laughs> yeah, Jack, don't make me rip out my boots. Here we go. Horror fans, welcome back to another reaction here at Three Shades of Whatever. Mm. This one I'm excited for. I love Texas Chainsaw, man. I, I've been a fan since I was a kid. I remember seeing the first one. You know, I didn't actually watch the first original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I saw all the sequels mm -hmm. first. I never and saw the original back. until I was 17 years old. Yeah. And I remember watching it and sitting there looking at it like, what the hell did I just see? Yeah. It was like a snuff film. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely one of the creepier, yeah. scarier and, movies. And I was hooked. I was hooked. Yeah. When that movie, at that age, had me like... Yep. I was... Uh, yeah. My stepfather made me watch it when I was like 13. So nice. I was really young. Yeah. I watched worse shit at much younger age. I just... Somehow that... Well, I shouldn't say worse because that was pretty bad. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I, I was watching Freddy at like six years old. Yeah. The Freddy. Shining at yeah. five. Yeah. I had a good childhood. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There, things were different then. Parents didn't give a shit. Way different. Yeah. Watch but, Freddy. yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was, oh, but yeah whenever sleep. he whacked his fingers off, always messed me up. The green shit yeah. was poured out. Ah! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I'm fully invested into this show. This, I love the fact that it's a direct sequel to the original. They're wiping away the other ones. Right. As far as I can tell. But, That's the right did I just make that up? Or is that really what they're doing here? I mean... No, because they said... Because the last one, it said about this was a, a sequel yes, to that, but it, did. it, it didn't mention if it wiped away the other ones. I'm kind of just guessing like they, you yeah. know, like they did with Halloween and all the other Let's movies. Hope. Yeah, I mean. Well, that was the cops coming to help, too. No, it wasn't. is a ghost town. They have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Oh, this is awesome. Hey, guys. You should see this. What are you doing in our house? You really shouldn't be here. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies that have been made. Um, Sometimes when you see this, it like it's like watered down. It's like ah, I don't know, want I don't know if I want to see another one, you know. But this one looks friggin', this one looks great, unbelievable. They're pulling a Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, they definitely the Halloween. They definitely no, it, did. They got the old gray hair lady. Like I'm gonna, you know, Leatherface dies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if this is going from the original, the same character and all, how old is Leatherface? He was Pretty goddamn walk, old. Walking around yeah. like 80 years old, killing people. Yeah. Are we going into the supernatural in the here? Probably like, so, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, it has to be at least a little bit something. I mean, I, I don't think he was ever meant to be, but eh, at the same Imagine time. Imagine a real 80 year old Leatherface chasing somebody, be like, come here. Well, I, I mean, because if. Well, you gotta, well, I'm going to say, 
I'm, no, I'm not going to say 80. What I'm going to say is he was probably the same age as that girl in the original one. Because she was a teenager. He probably was like a, yeah. maybe 20. Yeah, 20 in what what year? 1974, when the original one came out. All right. Mm -hmm. 70s. Okay, yeah. I guess. You see what I'm saying? It's a little different. Shape, yeah. I well, I mean. I guess other face yeah. goes I mean, gym, a, a huh? human diet. I mean, maybe he's eating bodybuilders. Possible. <laughs> I mean, protein diet, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. <laughs> he gets right. a lot of working out, chasing people. Exactly. You know, yeah. you know? And swinging that heavy ass chainsaw yeah, around, definitely. he does it like it's nothing. Yeah. He could use a bit of Beijing, though. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I'm not going to lie. When he sat up in that field, it that gave me what? like, it gave me like a, uh, like a, uh, a morbid friggin' Wizard of Oz feeling. <laughs> the field of poppies. It's a great way to explain that. You know thought. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. when, when the girl looked down to the... It, it looked like a field of poppies. It did. You know, not that I know what a freaking poppy like sunflowers, but they look like poppies. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of reminded me of. And then and then all of a sudden, Harry is as sitting up looking happy in the field of freaking poppies. He's just like, there's people here? Yeah, yeah. he's like... Yeah. That was there's people so to kill? Exactly. I I, I, I think this was a, a... The problem is, they didn't see Leatherface get off that boat when I got off the bus. You know what I mean? No. no. This is a ghost town that I think... I think they're going to do... I, like, I saw a documentary recently of a lady who bought a freaking ghost town in Montana and really? turned it into, like, a bed and breakfast and just, like, recently was selling it for, like, three or four million dollars. That's nuts. I think she bought it for, like, 200 grand. That's the whole insane. town. A whole freaking town. But I think that's what this is going to be something like. I think they're going to do... Yeah. By this ghost town, I think they're thinking of that, but I also think that this town is a ghost town because of the, the happenings yeah. of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and, and, and the Hewitt family. And if they know about that already, which it makes them more deserving of just being killed. Possibly, oh, but yeah. I mean, they might not know it. If you, if you think about this, they 1974 to now is what, 50 years? Almost 50, 49 years? I True. would say this, though. If you do go to a ghost town, I mean, you know, you deserve it. Yeah. You deserve all of it. And, and, and seeing the brother get off the bus, I instantly oh. thought about 8 Mile. Cause you remember that, that that when Lotto was battling them, and, yeah. he, and he what did what he say? He said, uh, he goes, "This is a horror flick, but the black guy doesn't die in this movie. This ain't that movie. This ain't that. Nope. And you know what? What? You too black for that. That's what you get. That's yeah. what you get. You shouldn't be your behind out there. You know better. You know better than that. They might break the stigma. He might be the only one who survives. So. He might be. He might you never be. know. I mean, we got. Know. I wonder if this is that same lady from the original movie. She kind of looks like her in the face, but I, yeah. I can't tell, man. I'm, I'm going to have to look that up. So I hope it is. If it was, that yeah. would be pretty rad. It, it would be pretty way rad. more interesting. It's a, it's a total bite off of uh, the Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, you're going to you know, you're gonna die tonight, Michael, and this is, you're going to die tonight, Leatherface. Yeah, pretty much. All right, well. Pretty much. I can't wait to see. You know, but in, in Halloween, I have a feeling that she's going to win and kill Michael. And this one, I hope Leatherface wins. Yeah. Finally get that girl that got away in the 70s. <laughs>